Hello friends, so today we are we're gonna discuss this question on lead code problem number 384 shuffle an array So in this question you are given inputted an array and You have to make three two functions actually the first function should return the original array and The second function should return a shuffled form of the array which is inputted Okay, so How do we shuffle this array? There's a different algorithms but the most simple one is the fisher yates shuffle or the knut shuffle so let me describe here how do we do the shuffle so let's assume this is the array so we'll move from right to left and first we fix this the last element and then we choose a random number from this range, this here to here, and uh, let's assume this number is chosen. So we swap these two numbers. These two numbers are swapped, and uh, the new array would be like two. Five. Three. Four. 7 and 1 and now because 1 has been shuffled we put a mark here and now we move our pointer to here now we choose a random number from this subsection and let's hope this number is chosen so we shuffle this with this So now the next array will be 2, 7, 3, 4, 5, 1. Now because these two elements are shuffled, now our array remains this. So we move to here. And this is how our algorithm will proceed. We'll just shorten our array and choose the any random number between these the remaining subsection the sub array and uh, then swap that element the randomly selected element with the chosen element and uh, this algorithm will run in O of n time because we are just moving from right to left I hope you understand the algorithm so this is what we done in the code as you can see uh, we first initiated these two arrays in the solution class we have what we have done is we initiated these two arrays with the original num array which is inputted then for the reset function we just return the original array because we don't have to shuffle anything but in the shuffle when you when we call the shuffle function if the random array is empty the random array also contains the nums array is actually the random array is just a random formation of the actual array so we have copied the uh, the original array into random so if the random array is empty just return random or else we what we can do is we move from right to left and we just swap the the element on which we are with the random number which is chosen and uh, we when we move from right to left it is an o, o of n time and just return the random uh, array i hope you understand this logic uh, because when we are choosing each element uh, it is done by this function only random function and uh, uh, you can easily understand the logic if you if don't you can re-watch this video i hope you understand the logic and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video